boy, it's happening yet again, guys. Good morning. It's Stas here. And in this quick video, we're going to break down AMC stock, the price action this morning, what I'm personally seeing. And I want to cover five other stocks that I'm looking at that potentially here could be squeezing. And I'm not saying for sure, but maybe we see more upside in these stocks. So sit back, relax. Take a sip of your morning coffee. Get yourself two stocks from Weeble and 30 bucks from M1 Finance. All that's linked down below. And let's get right into the video. So AMC, just when you thought it was going to slow down, well, a lot of people didn't think that. Quite frankly, a lot of people thought it would go higher. But just when you thought it was going to cool off, it's up to $33 right now pre-market. And to give you guys some um, you know, perspective here, it closed at 26 yesterday. Well, 26.52 to be exact. So that means from yesterday's close, it is up a whopping, well, now it's at $31 roughly. It's up 14%. And when it was at 33, it was up 20%. So when you thought the squeeze was over, it's not. And the truth is, nobody knows when the squeeze will be over. You know, there's a lot of bots in the comments. There's a lot of people in general saying, hold on for the squeeze or sell. Some of the bots I was seeing are like, sell this day because the squeeze will be over this day or whatever. And the truth is, the bots are wrong. And the truth is, a lot of people are going to be wrong. The 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 AMC hodlers, if you want to call them, yeah, I don't I don't want to poke your bubble or whatever. If you're an AMC hodler, I want you to make money. But the truth is, nobody knows. You don't know when that squeeze is going to end. We know that it's here now, uh, and and the truth is, nobody knows when it's going to end. So if you're buying at these levels, you have to understand the risk you're taking. And I'm not telling you to sell or, or not to buy. I'm just saying this is reality. No, Nobody thought back in January that 25 was the top. People thought it was going to go a lot higher. So yeah, this could go higher, but you also you know have to understand it could come back lower. And if it does pull back, where do I think we could see a pullback to? Maybe 25. Again, that is where we closed yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. Maybe it goes 25, 26, fills that gap down. If 25 fails and we start moving towards $20, or the high teens again, which could very well happen right towards this 50 moving average on the four hour chart. That'd be if this thing completely collapsed. I mean, if it got to 14, 15, 16, 17 again, that would be a massive collapse. Even 20 would be a pretty big collapse here. Um, that would be a spot where I'd be interested in maybe picking up some shares on the dip, maybe some fun money, pick up some shares. Why not? take part in this. Um, I'd do it close to about 15, 16, 17 again, right? That is where I'd be willing to buy back in, but I'm not willing to buy here. I'll be quite honest. Maybe as a day trade, a quick in and out day trade, what we're seeing here on the intraday chart is AMC hit 33. Now it's at 30. So in the past 30 minutes, how long has it been? Yeah, about there, eh, more like an hour past hour. It is down about 8%. So maybe we could play this as a day trade off the 180 moving average. That's if it holds the 180 moving average at about 30 and we end up popping off of that. That could be an opportunity, but I'd be nervous holding the shares a couple days, especially over the weekend. And that's another thing. We have today being Friday, a lot of options expire. There's going to be a lot of volume, volatility, in my opinion. And we have a long weekend, Monday being, um, you know, the market being closed. So this is going to be interesting. And there's a lot more that goes into it. I don't want to jump into the deep logistics of everything about the shares, the hedge funds, the institutional money, all that stuff, because I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to do a quick update on what I'm seeing. And that's just the truth. That is what I'm seeing right now. We're moving like crazy. The squeeze could go more, but we don't know when the squeeze will end, how far the squeeze will go, and uh, when it's going to pull back. So we have to be careful. And let's say I was getting messages in my Patreon about this, right? Let's say, and I'm not a financial advisor, by the way, but let's say you have 
you were in AMC at a very low price and you're up 3x your money, 2x your money. What you can do if you still want to be in AMC, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, you can take out your initial investment and play with quote unquote house money. At that point, you're really risking your profits only, or maybe you take some profits too and you leave a third of your position or something if you're up like 3x or whatever. You know, that is what I would consider doing if I was um, still in AMC. AMC. And by the way, I sold out of AMC um, uh, about two days ago. So yeah, you know, if I was still in, that's exactly what I would do. And I was in at $12. So that'd be, if I was still holding, that would be what I would do, right? I would probably take my money out, what I, uh, what I made, right? Or my initial investment and some profits as well, then leave some money to ride. That's what I would personally do if I was still in. So yeah, watch out for AMC. It's going to be crazy today, guys. No doubt about it. SPCE is one we called out yesterday. If you guys saw my video yesterday, midday, this thing we were filming, it was at 28, ripped all the way to 32, the short interest, roughly 20%. And, and who knows? I mean, they calculate it in weird ways. AMC, the short interest probably isn't 20%. In reality, it's probably way more than that. Um, and we'll see uh, how that again plays out here. But SPC, I think there's more upside, maybe $35. And we mentioned this in that video, $35 was that high point from the beginning of December, also in the middle of March. So watch out for a move towards there on SPC and pre-market. It's actually doing pretty decent. It's uh, it gapped up, got to about 31.50. Now we're holding 31.50. I want to see if we end up taking out that high from pre-market, start pushing towards 32, where we were on the massive rally yesterday. That was the high, roughly at 32. So watch out for that on SPC. And like we mentioned yesterday, GameStop was lagging. It was uh, behind AMC. Usually these meme stocks, the two poster childs, poster boys of the meme stocks, GME and AMC, they usually move in sync, right? And yesterday they weren't. Uh, GME was actually down a bit. AMC was up 15, 20% at that point. And then AMC or rather GME finally started catching up later in the day and it squeezed up from 240 to 263. That was a big move of about 10%. But then again, 10% with these meme stocks, that's not that big of a move. So I don't know what you consider a big move these days anymore, but it did well. Let's put it that way. And now pre-market GME actually took the highs out from yesterday. That's a good sign. We hit 266 pre-market today, and the high yesterday was 264.20 roughly. And now we're overall pulling back pre-market. We hit 266. Now we're at 260, but we're holding the uptrend. You guys can see a higher low is holding right now at about 260. And you could argue this is an ascending triangle as well, stemming back from yesterday. So I wouldn't be surprised if GME were to see a big move, whether it's today or next week, to kind of catch up with AMC, maybe to 290, maybe to 350. Those are my two short-term targets, whether they hit today, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week, the week after, who knows? But these are the targets I'm watching on GME. Beyond Meat is another one we were talking about. This one squeezed like a crazy person, right? I mean, come on. This thing went from 105 to now 155 pre-market. It's up 30% the past couple of days. And today alone, well, pre-market, it's up another 7%. So this one's moving. It filled the gap all the way from, what? where was this? 140 to about 150. We broke now 150 in the pre-market, and 150 was that high point from the middle of March. So I don't know. This one out of all of them, I mean, obviously AMC is very overbought, but this one's the probably the second most overbought one out of all the ones we're talking about today. So if it breaks 150, starts pushing 160s, I'd be a little nervous. You know, I'd be locking in profits. I'd be waiting for a sell-off. Um, and maybe if it goes back to the 120s, that'd be a spot to pick up shares on the dip. And the truth is, guys, we all get, me, myself uh, included, right? A lot of people, they get crazy. And I try not to, right? And uh, I talk about that on the channel. But a lot of people, especially beginners, they get crazy with these uh, 
meme stocks. They they want to chase them. They get FOMO. That's what a lot of us get. And uh, over the years, I've learned to control the FOMO. And you will too. I mean, if you're more into trading and you've been in it for a couple of years, you know this. But if you can't control the FOMO, you'd get into something like Beyond Meat if it pumped to 170. And then you'd watch it crater all the way down to 115. The truth is, what makes a great trader and investor is they're able to to, to hold out. They're able to be patient. They're able to wait till the dust settles. And that is kind of what I want to do with Beyond Meat and with AMC, quite frankly. I'd, and again, I'd love to get AMC again if it were to dip into the teens. Will it happen? I don't know. But if it does, I'll be patiently waiting, right? And the last two before I end off this quick morning video, guys, Workhorse. This is one that's up 30 cents, a little bit more pre-market. Uh, that's actually a lot for work. Well, it's not that much considering it's a $9 stock. It's only a 3% move, uh, but still, it's moving up in the right direction. The short interest is high on Workhorse. It's 41% right now, according to HighShortInterest.com, which is pretty nuts if you ask me. And I want to see if this could start breaking out of the high points or the low points, rather, um, from a couple months ago. You can see from the end of February all throughout the end of April workhorse held about 11 1150 right and now we're at about ten dollars so we need to break 1150 since it's now resistance from there who knows maybe we do get some upside momentum and ride Lordstown Motors this is another one I'm looking at pretty high short interest on this this one's been beaten to the ground from thirty dollars to six dollars that is an eighty percent drop unbelievable but now we're seeing a break above the moving averages we're about to see a golden cross as well 50 crossing above the 180 and I'd love to to see if ride could test those highs from a couple days ago well more like a week ago and i want to see if it breaks those highs at about 11 70 11 75 from there maybe we do get some upside momentum and let me tell you this guys all of these stocks are trades for me i'm not looking to buy these for long-term investments literally none of them maybe amc if it got to like three four five dollars again i'd buy it as a long-term investment maybe or if beyond me got under a hundred i would but all of these at these levels they're trades for me and that's it i'd love to know your thoughts let me know down below make sure to smash the like button if you all enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel as well i do content like this every single day so make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and check out my patreon if you guys want real-time buys sells if you want all the moves i'm making from trading uh, options long-term investments if you want call outs if you want you know more access to me throughout the day and a morning video every single day which i'm about to make after this video we're hustling today guys i'm making that morning video for patreon right after this check that out it's all linked down below or you can go to patreon.com slash dosserfest you could also get yourself a bunch of free money down below which also helps out the channel here that is on webull you get two free stocks and you get 30 bucks from m1 finance and 10 bucks from coinbase all of those are down below again thank you all for tuning in i'll catch you all later on keep crushing the markets good luck out there today Today. And again, FOMO is hard. It's hard to fight it, but you got to fight it. That is what makes investors and traders successful when they're able to hold out, be patient, have that cash, and then strike after a lot of people panic, sell, or whatever. So I'll see you all later. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace out.